The cross is the most absurd thing in the world, of and by itself, because the vertical bar of life is contradicted by the horizontal bar of death. It is the symbol, indeed, of the incomprehensible. But if you put someone on it, then it's no longer an absurdity, because he who has put on it teaches that death is the condition of life, that the Good Friday leads to the Easter Sunday. And when he came to the cross, it was the fulfillment of an old symbol or type Centuries before, when the Israelites had disobeyed God, they were bitten by poisonous serpents. And they went to Moses and asked to be healed. Moses spoke to God, and God said, Make a serpent of brass, one that looks exactly like that snake that poisoned you, and hang it on the crotch of a tree. And everyone who looks at that serpent of brass will be healed. Now, there's absolutely nothing in looking at a brass serpent on the crotch of a tree that will cure snake bite. Why did God suggest that? Because it was to be a type of himself. So as that serpent of brass did not have poison inside of it, but looked as if it were poisonous, so our blessed Lord would look as if he were guilty, but would bear no have no sin. And as all who looked at that serpent of brass would be healed of the poison, so all who would look at our Lord on the cross would be healed of the poison of sin. What is sin? Sin is hurting someone we love. That is why the crucifix is our autobiography. For our sins of pride, crown of thorn. All greed, avarice, they are recorded in the nails. The riven feet, they represent the times that we've wandered away from his love. Flesh hanging from him like purple rags. All of our sins of the flesh. The pure side. How often we broke his heart. The life of each and every one of us has been written. His blood is the ink. His skin is the parchment. This is our guide, and whenever we say the act of contrition, it is always in relationship to the cross.